Michael's catastrophic winds destroyed anything in its path, leaving much of the panhandle in ruins. SNN Jessica Lang has more on how the Sun Coast is helping with hurricane relief. Hurricane Michael made landfall in the panhandle as a category four hurricane. The destruction and despair it left behind is immeasurable. Director of Community Development Jane Giroux urges the Sun Coast to donate blood. Well, it's always important for people to donate every day, but when there's a natural disaster like Hurricane Michael, it becomes especially important. The Sun Coast Blood Bank needs more O and O negative blood, but they encourage anyone to donate. You never know when you or someone you love is gonna need blood. In the middle of a natural disaster, the American Red Cross is also seeking donations. As we're starting to really see the devastation that has been done, the main thing that people can do is support the Red Cross through financial donations. Donating money is almost always the most efficient way to help in a disaster, according to the Center for International Disaster Information, part of the federal government. Otherwise, valuable time might be lost sorting through a mountain of donated goods that don't serve people's immediate needs. And experts advise giving that money to establish relief groups that can distribute aid safely and efficiently. The American Red Cross is among those organizations recognized by the Better Business Bureau accredited charities. People have the best intentions when it comes to donating items after a disaster, but it really isn't the most efficient way to support the local community. As more of the destruction becomes uncovered, both organizations are dedicated to providing relief wherever it may be. Teams are there. We've already deployed people from our central Florida region um, and, and throughout the country. So we're, we're ready to go with whatever those needs are. Reporting in Sarasota, Jessica Lang, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Thanks, Jessica. And Van Sickle says she expects Re American Red Cross volunteers will be in the panhandle for several months, and she says they are still providing relief to those affected by Hurricane Florence.